evening. I'm Josh Adams, and welcome to IJA Entertainment News. Our top story tonight. Marvel has officially confirmed today that screen legend Michael Douglas will be joining Paul Rudd in Edgar Wright's upcoming Ant-Man film. Douglas will be playing Hank Pym, the original Ant-Man, while Rudd will be playing Scott Lang, the second Ant-Man. Ant-Man is set to release in 2015 after Avengers Age of Ultron. In other Marvel news, the rumored upcoming project Agent Carter, which would focus on the character of Peggy Carter from the first Avenger, Captain America, now reportedly has a pair of writers assigned to the project. Tara Butters and Michelle Fazekas are reported to be writers and executive producers on the project. Their previous credits include work on Joss Whedon's show Dollhouse, which lends some credence to this rumor as Joss Whedon is the overseer of all Marvel projects at this time. But again, this is still just a rumor. In our last bit of Marvel news, Variety is reporting that Marvel is in talks with Johnny Depp to play Doctor Strange, their Sorcerer Supreme. Depp's agent is denying the report at this time, so for now this is just a rumor. Doctor Strange does not currently have a release date, but given how full Marvel's plate currently is, it is safe to say that it would not be until 2016 at the earliest. Speaking of Depp, he is reported to begin filming Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales at the end of this year in Puerto Rico and New Orleans. Also returning to the next installment of the franchise is Keith Richards, once again playing Captain Jack Sparrow's father, Captain Teague. The film is set for a July 2016 release. The Oscar nominees have just been announced. The films up for Best Picture are The Wolf of Wall Street, 12 Years a Slave, American Hustle, Gravity, Nebraska, Her, Philomena, Dallas Buyers Club, and Captain Phillips. For the nominations in the other categories, check out our website or go into the description below. That's all for news today, so let me turn it over to my colleague Adams Josh for this week's new releases. Adams? Thanks, Josh. Here are this week's major theatrical releases. First off, we have Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit. This movie stars Chris Pine and it is based off the Tom Clancy character of the same name. In the movie, the titular character discovers a Russian plot to destroy the U.S. economy and races to stop it with the help of his mentor, played by Kevin Costner. Next comes the buddy cop movie Ride Along, starring Kevin Hart and Ice Cube. Hart plays a security guard who proposes to the sister of a police officer played by Ice Cube, and in order to get his approval, Hart agrees to go on a ride along with him where they get into all sorts of trouble. Lastly, we have The Devil's Due, a horror movie about a wife giving birth to an evil baby. And you know that's a really good movie because it comes out in January instead of, say, October. The other movies coming out this week are The Nut Job, GBF, Big Bad Wolves, Like Father Like Son, Reasonable Doubt, Summer in February, and Freezer. Now for this week's DVD releases. Funnily enough, both of the stars of Fox's upcoming film The Fault in Our Stars have DVDs releasing this week. Shailene Woodley starts in The Spectacular Now, another young adult novel adaption, this one taking a more realistic look at high school romances, which is said to avoid all of the cliches that plague the genre. Meanwhile, Ansel Elgort plays Tommy Ross in the remake of Brian De Palma's classic Carrie, which also stars Chloe Grace Martinez. Also out this week is Lee Daniels, the butler, about a White House butler who served eight different presidents over the course of three decades. Many people feel this film was snubbed by the Academy with its lack of a best picture nod. Also new on DVD this week is Enough Said, You're Next, Fruitvale Station, 20 Feet from Stardom, Short Term 12, Blue Caprice, and ACOD. You know, Josh, I don't know why the Russians would be trying to destroy the U.S. economy. I thought we were doing a good enough job doing that ourselves. Ha 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 Thanks, Adams. Well, that's all we have for tonight. Be sure to stay tuned Sunday for my little first impressions, Rainbow Falls. Be sure to subscribe and follow us online on Twitter and Tumblr. For IJA Entertainment, I'm Josh Adams. Good night.